welcome back guys today we're gonna be cleaning up the bars we're gonna get rid of this uh, stock switches and then run a single cable instead of dual like this these are the switches that I got this is gonna be the kill switch and over here is gonna be my uh, start button and this is the Bitwell whiskey throttle first things first we're gonna remove this This is the kill switch right here. I'm gonna take it out and see what color the wires are. All right, I got the housing out. So there's two wires going to the starter. So the wires are uh, black and red, white and black. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna wire that first. So I don't get mixed up. This is the switch, uh, push button switch I got from uh, my local hardware store. Should work fine, I think. But let's see. As you can see. So I gotta add two wires to the switch. On like that. So like I said, black and red and white and black. All right, now you have your uh, starter switch wired up. Next, we're gonna do the uh, kill switch. The wires are white and black and gray for the kill switch. Okay, we're gonna try to start the bike now. Let me see if I turn up kill switch, see if it will crank. Okay, switch is off. Nothing. So it's working. Let me try it again. It's working all right one more time this is the kill switch it's uh white and black and gray and the starter button is um, black and red and white and black now we can go ahead and relocate the wires okay let me try it one more time to see if we'll crank on yep still working we're good so this is where i'm gonna put the switches it's gonna be nice and tucked away and there will be less wires coming out here anyway so let's take this out and drill some holes all right Time to drill some holes. All right, I got the holes drilled. I didn't have a big enough uh, drill bit, so I have to bore it out. Switches on, on, start. All right, time to wire it up. Here goes nothing. Beyond. Um. 
off, on. Works. All right, now we just got to clean up the wires and we're all good. So I'm actually gonna switch out the starter switch because it sticks out too much. I'm gonna get a different one that's more flush to the panel, but I'm gonna keep the kill switch though. Time to uh, shorten these wires and relocate it. So I got a new switch for the starter. Bought this on Amazon. I got these two for around nine bucks. Look more flushed on the panel. So you like that. Push start. So this is what it looks like right now with the old switch. As you can see, it sticks out way too much. So I think the new one is gonna look a lot better. Let's go ahead and take this out and then drill a bigger hole and install it. good to go just gotta sand this out a little bit then we're good eventually I'm gonna repaint the cover but this will do for now and that's it all right moment of truth turn it on kill switch So here's the finished product. As you can see, this bun is a lot more flush compared to the other one. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. So I like this a lot. Like I said, I bought this on Amazon. Two of them for like nine bucks. Next, we're gonna install the single cable throttle assembly. All right, so I got one cable off. And the cable that you wanna remove is the inner one. All right, so I got the cable inside the throttle. It's a fairly easy install. Like I said, you just gotta remove one cable and then find the right adapter for your bike. So the Biltwell Whiskey comes with a bunch of different adapters. For the Sporty, I use the Sporty adapter and then you just gotta put the cable in and that's it. Super responsive. So here's the finished product, the single cable. But yeah, the built well whiskey was very simple to install. I recommend it if you guys want to chain out your stock one. And eventually you want to change this out as well. Get something less stock and less bulky. But so far, so good. The bars look a lot more clean. There's only one cable now instead of two. And no more wires from the starter and the kill switch. Eventually, I'm gonna get rid of this bulky master brake cylinder and go with something more slim. What do you guys think? Let me know. And then my extended force came in already. Probably install that in the next few videos. But for now, I gotta come up with uh, a design for the exhaust and if you guys are local if you guys are local I'm having a annual turkey ride on November 26 but yeah come out if you guys are free do a little cruise and talk shit but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video 
Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.